Hello everyone and welcome to this little video to explain Tijni's Goodwood Challenge. So for a little while now I've been trying to think of a way uh, in which you can challenge me, uh, for a way to challenge myself and also a way just for everybody to improve, uh, to, you know to get better for GT Academy or just to get better for a race series, just to get better generally as a driver um, and this is why the challenge exists. So I chose Goodwood because Goodwood has lots of different corners and it's narrow as well so you've got a lot of precision in there and to try and understand the car is vital in getting the best time so it offers lots of different challenges uh, all in one small little run so I think it's well worthwhile to do this in my opinion. I certainly to challenge myself and I know there's a few of you already uh, giving it a shot which is awesome. Now they're going to happen every other week on a Monday so basically every two weeks. Uh, you'll see one um, and here are the settings so the cars are just stock so it's literally what you buy from the dealership uh, and then I do an oil change on them and that's it that is all so whatever tires they come with it stays like that whatever car settings that it comes with it stays like that now the track settings is a little bit different uh, because of the way it defaults so I normally put the track settings to uh, 1500 so 3 o'clock and the grip level real it defaults to low so if you put it back to real uh, and that means you can't abuse the grass or anything like that um, that's simply it so that's the little rules that I put on myself you don't have to follow those but personally I think they're the best way to improve uh, oh yeah and the car settings as well it's all aids off apart from ABS um, so if you do want to see a particular car go up the good wood, uh, do shout requests out. I've already had one, which is the rough yellow bird, so that's the next one that will be coming up. Uh, as I said, it'll be a week on Monday. And uh, good luck with the 370Z. Now if you're wondering why I chose that car, it's in my top 5. Yes, even amongst the supercars and hypercars. So that's why the 370Z there it definitely presents an interesting start, because you've got a bit of weight manipulation in there and it's rear wheel drive. So good luck with this first one and I'll see you at the next one.